Hey my TTs, welcome back. Now it looks like it's Birkin season going on now these days for no exact reason. Sweetie kind of started this whole Birkin bag controversy just a couple of days ago. She had a party for the release of her song Back to the Streets and while she was on live she was telling ladies that look if he's not buying you a Birkin if he he's not paying your bills then send that dude back to the street now although i feel like she was referencing her song in a way and just trying to bring attention to her song this Birkenbag comment brought so much controversy to social media and social media and people went in a frenzy now i do agree with some of the people who are saying look there's nothing wrong with her wanting her man to to buy her a Birkin bag and a person named Stacy Banks actually tweeted and said y'all cap on this app every day there is absolutely nothing wrong with sweetie wanting her man to buy her a Birkin bag he can afford it if I ask my man for a Birkin bag knowing he can afford it a hundred times over and he comes home with a micro course I'm going to be mad now it's understandable if your man can afford to to buy you a Birkin bag right then by all means he should be buying it for you if you want it if he has the money to buy it 10 times or 100 times over and he's not getting it for you when you're telling him that's something that you would like and you're playing your part in the relationship too then yeah by all means drop him and leave him alone but I feel like people on social media is taking it as look if a regular man with a a regular job is not buying me a Birkin bag if he's not paying my bills right away then leave him alone now that shouldn't be the case at all in any type of relationship or situation and if it is you're kind of being toxic especially if you can't afford to buy a Birkin bag yourself and I feel like that's where sweetie got a lot of people confused she should have phrased it as as if your man can afford to buy you a Birkin bag and if you want a Birkin bag if he can afford to pay your bills at the moment then he should be doing it if you are playing your part ladies and if he is not playing his part and getting you what you want then yes you should leave him alone but I feel like she was just telling ladies look if he's not paying your bills if he's not buying you a Birkin leave him alone send him back to the streets and that's kind of a toxic way of thinking eight times out of ten you are not going to marry or be with a man who is rich and it's really sad to think that social media these days and this generation and all these influencers and celebrities are telling people regular people that they should be thinking this way and these ladies that they should expect these things from these guys you know and it's putting a lot of pressure on guys and I can see why they would feel you know annoyed and they would feel like they're not good enough when they're in relationships with these ladies who have these city girls and sweetie and Megan the Stallion mindset there's nothing wrong with knowing your worth and wanting good for yourself but first of all make Make sure that you can provide for yourself first and second of all understand that the average man is not going to be able to afford to buy you a Birkin and I really think it's sad for the generation coming up they're gonna expect all of this stuff for these from these men these you know young ladies are gonna expect a lot from a guy and then once they don't get it they're just going to want to drop the guy they're gonna give him a hard time to where he's not gonna even probably want anything to do with her and these can be the guys of your dreams they can do everything right they can really care about you but then be in a rough position in life and trying to work their way
way up and then ladies will just drop them because they feel like they don't have enough money and I would hate for ladies to come to this rough patch in life where they finally realize that hey you know a relationship is really all about working together it's not about a man just being your sugar daddy there's nothing wrong with your husband or fiance or longtime boyfriend spoiling you but even with that it might even take a while for you know you guys to get to that point all depending on what type of man it is but it shouldn't be something that you're expecting in a relationship you know we're in a pandemic it's all of these you know hardships going on people are hardly getting paid people are on unemployment people are not working and even without the pandemic it's still a struggle for a lot of men and it's still a struggle for a lot of blk men so for ladies to you know be under this impression that if he's not giving me this if he's not giving me this right away then i don't want him first of all it should take a man a little bit of time to get to know you to really start spoiling you in a way anyways that's just my opinion now not only were fans you know And people, regular people from social media coming in an uproar about this whole situation. Money Yaya had a lot to say about Birkin bags. And she's basically tired of all of these people and celebrities and influencers showing off these Birkin bags. She's basically saying that she feels like some of them are fake because she knows the ins and outs of Birkin bags because her dad flies over sees to get her Birkin bags sometimes and she's been wearing Birkin bags ever since she was at a very young age. Now she decided to take to her Insta story to discuss how she feels about all of these influencers and all of these people having Birkin bags and faking like they actually have all of this money to afford to buy Birkin bags and after she ranted on how she felt about it Offset decided to post to his instagram and say stop letting people on the internet tell y'all who can get a birkin at the store and how many birkins you can get black people having sustained access to luxury shouldn't be a debate by the way hip-hop starts the trends now a lot of people believe that he was talking about money yaya and it really does seem like he was talking about money yaya because of what she posted to her insta story about you know how people can't just go in the store and buy a whole bunch of birkins you have to be a member and you can only buy a couple at a certain time timing or whatever so what he posted definitely related to you know what money yaya was saying and then he decided to post a picture of cardi b with a couple of birkins beside her and then he reposted a receipt on his insta story showing everybody you know how much it cost for him to buy cardi all of those bags now a lot of people were tagging money yaya in his post and you know in his story and everything and showing her and she decided to put people in their place because people were just like look offset is putting you in your place he bought cardi b all of these bags or whatever so you're wrong but she went on her live and told everybody that there was only one Birkin bag on that receipt that Offset showed. Now, she was smart for seeing that because I didn't even realize that it was one Birkin bag. And she kind of is just letting it be known that Cardi B and Offset was kind of just flexing in that picture. You know, she probably put a couple of old Birkin bags that she already had on that table because mostly on that receipt it was other bags and yes it was only one Birkin bag on that receipt but if you guys have not seen Money Yaya's live you know I gotta play right here this is what you guys want from me this is let's do it why not let's freaking do it well I really don't have much to say because I already said what I had to say 
Like I said, y'all can stop tagging me in the post. The man is 10 years older than me, so I'm pretty sure that he's not talking about me. But even if he was, everything I said and will continue to say, I said it. And I'm going to stand on it. Not only that, nobody I've been getting Birkins longer than is going to tell me about Birkins. And listen, I love Cardi. Her husband, fiance, I mean, I, I don't know what, what he is to her, whatever. Cool. He's cool too, whatever. But respectfully, I was going to tell you guys, if you guys just look at the picture, you know all, if, if you guys look at the picture, those aren't all Birkins in the picture. But actually, I guess he posted on his story the receipt and on the receipt. If you read, you can see that only one Birkin was purchased. Two hot bags were purchased, a Birkin and a constant bag. Okay, so there you have it. Now, if you guys want to continue to argue with me, Let's do it. We could argue all we could argue all day about. It. Guarantee you something. I can I can guarantee you guys something. Not only have not only not only have I been getting Birkins longer than some of these people. I've been I've been flying private longer than these people. Listen, I've been doing all this way longer, so I know. So you ain't gonna tell me I'm a youngin, but guess what? Even though I'm young, the old heads, the old, the old heads really look up to me because I've been doing this since way before them, way before. But yeah, so I mean, no need to brag about it, but <laughs> let's just let it be known. But yeah. Anywho, I just had to come on here and say that because <laughs> now sweetie done got this whole Birkin bag controversy going on. And I'm not gonna say it's just her. The Birkin bag thing was going on even before this, but it just got more intense once Sweetie said that on her live. But you guys let me know what you think about Birkin bags. Do you feel like a man should be able to buy you a Birkin bag and he should be working towards buying you a Birkin bag and paying all of your bills? The paying your bills thing is a whole nother thing. You know, I definitely feel feel like that's something that a man should want to do for a woman that he's been with for a long time but you guys let me know in the comments below anyways moving on to ruby rose and ddg now today ruby rose posted to her twitter kind of explaining more about the situation of her and ddg and why they broke she up she basically said that she found him in a car with another girl the girl was in the back seat and she was dogging the other girl, saying that the girl looked like a dog. Now, do we really know why Ruby Rose is explaining to us after weeks after their breakup why her and DDG broke up? No, we don't really know. Maybe a lot of people was asking her and she decided to explain it, but it definitely came out of nowhere. And even DDG feels the same way because he responded and posted to his Insta story and said, at the ruby rose leave me alone we done please and thank you so it just seems like at this point ddg is tired he's like look we're already over why are you bringing this up why are you explaining why we broke up weeks after our breakup by all means ruby rose she's grown she can do what she want but it kind of made her look like she's still stuck on ddg and she's still stuck on the situation but you guys should definitely Definitely let me know what you feel about these two situations in the comments below. Once again, thank you so much for watching Tea's Room. I know this video got kind of long. I will try to shorten my next one. But thank you so much for watching and may you guys have a good and blessed day. I will see you guys in my next video.